Lucid Chart is a flowchart software that allows you to make visual diagrams or maps of your business processes, and then you can share that with your team. So in this video, we're gonna go over how to use the interface of Lucid Chart, and then we're gonna go over how to download or share your little diagrams, and then finally go over some competitors of Lucid Chart. So when you log into Lucid Chart, this is what it's going to look like. So I will link below my affiliate link for Lucid Chart, but for now, this is what it looks like when you log in and you have like one document so far. So I went ahead and I've started playing around with this software because I wanted to add it to my SOPs. So what I've done is I have an SOP on Scribe, which I will also link the video link below for that because I did a re whole review on Scribe Pro. Now I pay like $20 a month for this software in particular, but it allows me to basically film and make screenshots of step-by-step -step guides on how to do things. So I wanted to make a flowchart for how I create a newsletter, right? So I went ahead and made this in Lucid Chart and then embedded it into my SOP. So I have a list on how to create a newsletter, all that stuff, and then I wanted to embed this with the link. So if I wanted to update it, I can just go ahead and click that. So when I went and made a document, you just press new and then do Lucid Chart and do a blank document. You can also create from a template. So here's the templates here, which are really cool. And you can see there's, they're kind of pretty. Um, they're just a little bit more visually appealing um, than some of the other like software chart diagram softwares that I've seen before. <laughs> so you can go ahead in here and search templates. Um, you can start, you can even do a network diagram. And there's some really cool ones that you can do. Now I just want to do a blank one. Mine are simple. I'm not doing anything fancy here, but feel free to check out this over here. But um, again, your stuff's just gonna be in your documents. So I'm just gonna open up the one that I made personally for my actual um, SOP for my newsletter. So here's what it looks like. It's super easy to use. So you're going to start with a terminator block. What's nice is when you hover over it, it shows you what you're going to be pulling in. So if I grab this, I just drag and drop it. Now, if you have this little like check mark thing, you just make sure that there's no icon. You can add icons if you really want to, um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it. And then you go ahead and hover here. So you see this dot, that'll give you an arrow and then you usually will use a block after. So you can click this and do um, process one, right? And then you can add this and do another one and do process two, right? And you just kind of go through the whole process. Now, if you want to edit and make the lines thicker, there's a really easy way to do it. You just click that, hold shift and click anything and any, any other arrows that you want to be a part of this, which is kind of tricky, but you get that. And then you can do this, you can change the color of it, right, to black. And then you can change it, whether you wanted a dashed line or a dotted line or a solid line. And then you can just up the, the thickness. So if you want them super thick, you can have them super thick, right? And then you can also do the same thing here. So you can change the text color. You can do all kinds of stuff in here. So this is all just to make things um, more customizable, right? To make them a little bit prettier which is kind of cool. Change all this stuff in the header here. So that's essentially how you use um, Lucidchart to create some shapes. You can find more shapes below here. You can import shapes, but for the most part, I just use the basic stuff. Now, if you wanna like have a design scheme, you can highlight everything and then click this style section and then just change it however you want to have it. So if you want it kind of you know, one of these designs, then you can have that. <laughs> I just went for some basic stuff, um, but I think it looks pretty good. So this is my workflow. Um, so I have some double arrows here for some stuff that are in parallel with each other. And this is basically how you start using the software to play around with it. You can also embed like these action steps. So right here, you can click action and add like a link. So I'll just do my website.org then you can convert to embedded link and then it's kind of cool looking. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna use that yet, but if I wanted to be like, oh, go to my website to pull something, that might be useful because then it's completely linked. So I could click that and it will take me to my website. So that's kind of cool. I was kind of taking a look at those action steps. Another cool thing is you could use this conditional formatting and say, look, I have a rule. If this text or if this shape is, you know, is um, a process, 
then do something else, fill it with this color. So that's a rule that I kind of have on here, right? All my blue ones are a process step. So you can do these kind of conditional formats. So everything, it, it's automatically pulls in the color palette and all that, depending on the shape of it or the text or whatever. So I thought that was kind of a cool feature that I haven't seen anyone talk about. Um, so that's exactly kind of how a rundown on how to use this thing and how to like move things around. And then let's go over how to share it. Okay, so you built your flow diagram. How you actually share it with your teammates or people, you click the share button up here and you can either share it by a link, right? And say edit or comment or just view and just send them a link. You can also just add people directly in here and then send them a link as well. So that's like if you want them to actually edit it or view it within Lucidchart, but you can also download so you can do a file and then you can go ahead and download this um, stuff using an export here, right? And you can export it to PDF or PNG. So I typically will, will export it to a PNG and then put that within my scribe and then put the link below. So if I need to update it or somebody on my team needs to update it, they have the link and then they can re generate the PNG. Um, so that's kind of cool. I, I like that the, the fact that they have that. You can also import Visio diagrams. So if you've been using Microsoft Visio, which is very popular, you can import them there. So make sure to check out this kind of section in the file because there's a lot of interesting stuff that you can do as far as using other templates and importing data, importing a diagram from some of these other ones like draw.io I've heard good things about. I, haven't, I don't think I've played around with these two yet, but kind of important if you want to be sharing or you know exporting, importing, all that kind of stuff, it's all gonna be under file. I mentioned it briefly, but the biggest competitor of Lucidchart is mainly gonna be Microsoft Visio, it even has a button in Lucidchart to convert from Microsoft Visio. So Microsoft Visio, right, is, it's actually installed, if you have a personal account or a business account, you have like a very basic version of Microsoft Visio. You can just search here for Visio and then get to it um, from office.com. But let me just open up one that I worked on. Now I do, I will say it's not as pretty. <laughs> I think you can make them prettier, um, but I just have the browser version. So there is a Visio one and two plan. I think one is like $5 extra a month. And then the two, which has like valves and PNIDs and that kind of stuff is 15 extra dollars a month. So if you're using Microsoft products, very easy to just tap on $5 for a Visio one plan or just use the browser version. Cause it's still uh, for basic diagrams like this, this is Microsoft Visio is great for this. You do not need to go and get Lucidchart if you already have a Microsoft account. I mean, this already integrates very well and then you could actually make this into an automation using Power Automate and import this template in there. It's kind of a cool feature that they have. So I would stick to Microsoft products if you are on a Microsoft platform, but essentially it's the same thing, right? You can add a little start and then you can add your little arrows like this and then add your steps. So it's it's almost like the exact same thing. And again, super customizable. It, I don't see it having some of the features in the browser as a Lucidchart has, but I think once you have the desktop version, which you have to pay extra to get that version, they have some more features that are similar. So that's its main competitor. There's also draw.io, which I've touched a little bit, but again, like, just pick a tool, pick one or the other. I mean, they're gonna be very similar if you're doing basic stuff. Once you start getting into like the deeper flow charts, then maybe start considering figuring out exactly which platform to be on. But as far as just making a flow chart diagram, just pick a software, run with it, you'll be fine. I do think Lucidchart is a very good tool to start making your flow charts with. So either that or use Microsoft Visio if you are on a Microsoft platform. But again, I was inspired by this book, Automate Your Busy Work, which basically says to write or make a visual for all your little manual tasks. And then it will start to kind of give you ideas on how you would go about automating those tasks. So if you want to learn more about the automation side, I will link a couple of videos up here where I reviewed Zapier and make.com as well as Inaten. Or if you wanna see my review on Scribe, I will link it in the description as well.